Hello everybody. We are back again with another Q&A video with my husband Clancy. Um, it's been like a year and a half since we last did this. We did one like, I think it was like probably a month after we got married. And now we'll be married for two years in December. Time flies. Yep. But Yesterday I posted on my Instagram story the little question box and had, Yesterday or this morning? Well, it was today, but I'm gonna post this tomorrow. So it was yesterday for whoever's watching. Okay, here we go. A very popular question that was asked. Some of them were directed to me, someone to some to Clancy and some to us both. Um but a very popular one that people directed at me was, how did you know that Clancy was the one? And I think for me, I just, <laughs> I think for me, I, I had a really big crush on me. I don't know. <laughs> no, I really liked Clancy um, from the first day that I met him. And I think I just kind of, there were definitely a few things that happened, like different experiences that I had that kind of confirmed to me that Clancy would definitely make my life happy and that I I knew that I wanted to marry him for a long time before we did get married. But I think when it really came down to it, I just kind of like, just made the choice and said like, I am gonna marry Clancy and then I prayed about it and felt like that was good. I felt like God said, you, that will be a good choice. <laughs> and so I did and we made it work and it's been great. And I am very happy. Is Clancy's great? Awesome. Your turn. <laughs> okay, here's the one that I'll answer. <laughs> Favorite things to do together? Um, I guess I like this question. Um, recently, we've been playing a lot of board games. Um, we've always liked playing games in my family and then I've slowly been getting Evelyn into them. She's, it's been an adjustment teaching her to be competitive oh in my. games. Oh <laughs> my. I'm but, competitive. So yeah, we've been playing a lot of board games recently. Uh, since finishing school, we've just had a lot more time on our hands, and so we usually go on a walk. Um, there's a park nearby, I play disc golf. But yeah, quite a few board games. Evelyn uh, really likes mysteries, so for date night, we got this Sherlock Holmes game that's been really fun. And it's super fun. She's been, she's been enjoying that and gets really in into solving the mystery and, and I enjoy seeing seeing her get excited about it and then you like them I like them too I definitely <laughs> like them too it takes me a little bit longer to get into the story and start figuring it out but yeah that's been something we've enjoyed a lot and um, yeah it's been good okay one person said is it hard to be a young parent? My husband and I want a baby so badly, but we're worried about being young and maybe missing out on things when you don't have a kid. Also, financially, we want to make sure that we're stable for it. Um, that's a really good question for us. Something that was also kind of brought up, a few people asked like, did you plan to have your baby so young, like so soon after you got married and stuff? And we did. We. Shortly after we got married, we were just like, yeah, we both really, we just both really wanted a baby. And I feel like, um, like, especially, yes, we are young. We were still in school when we had Billy and it was definitely something like, you know, that we were aware of, like, no, we're not like the richest people in the world. We're not. Um, like super successful people. We don't have all of these things put together, but we both decided that like we wanted to grow our family and that we were ready for that. And we were gonna love this baby and give her everything that we could. And 
so we decided to go for that. And I think like a lot of people like can be hesitant to having kids young. Um, and I would say like there definitely are legitimate concerns. Like if you're going to be unable to care for a baby, then probably don't like plan for that. But also if you, if you have the means, I mean, yes, babies are expensive, but we also had a lot of support and like Clancy had a job and he had a few internships. I had a job. I worked it like, and so like we, we were capable of providing for a baby and again, like we were, we were just going to pour all the love that we could into her and make her life as best as we could. Yeah. So. And I think like, from my standpoint, just to answer some of the other parts of the question, like missing out on stuff. Yeah. Um, there definitely are things that maybe you miss out on or we've missed out on with, you know, just doing something with us or our friends or, or whatever. But also on the flip side, like now that we have a baby, you know, and all of those experiences that we have each day, like we would have missed out on those. And yeah. I always wanted to be a dad. I love having little Billy, she's just right down here. <laughs> so we keep looking at her. Um, but I, I work from home most days, I'm hybrid. And so it's so fun just to you know, get up and work for a few hours. And then I hear her start stirring around and be able to go in and say good morning and give her a kiss. It's just so much fun. And, um, yes, you're gonna miss out on some things regardless of what you choose. And I think financially it's the same way. Like if you have a hundred dollars, you can choose to spend that on, you know, going out to eat somewhere, going on, you know, going out with your friends, or you can choose to spend it on your kid. Like yeah. those are decisions that, you know, at the end of the day aren't, aren't gonna be easier because you're older, because you're younger. Like it's all about your priorities and what you want. Like we wanted to have a kid we wanted to have a family, and so that's where we put our time, we put our money, and, and it's awesome. It's so it. great. It's yeah. It honestly is, like, the best thing ever. She's starting to crawl now and make more noises, as you can hear. Like, it's just so fun. Like, seeing her smile, learn new things, it's really just the best thing ever. No, nothing beats it. Nope. <laughs> Okay, we'll choose another one. All right, here's a good one. Do you <laughs> think you'll ever get him to sing for us? <laughs> you know, that, that one's a challenging <laughs> question. I'm not going to say that I can't sing, but I will admit I can't sing all of the words of any song. <laughs> I know, like, one line of a lot of songs or... I, I can whistle a tune of a song. Clancy's um, a great whistler, like, I can't really whistle very well. So, I, I like the whistle. Singing, though, is like, it's really hard to ask me to sit down and, like, sing all three verses in the chorus of this <laughs> song. Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I'll just be making up words by the end of it. Probably by the end of the first verse, actually. A lot of people would probably assume that, like, I fill the house with the most music but honestly Clancy fills the house with a lot of made up songs it's always it's usually to a tune of a song that exists but then he'll just like instead of just talking to Billy he'll just start making up words to a song and sing it and it's really cute but I don't know so to <laughs> To make it to the channel or to make it in a video, probably not anytime <laughs> soon. I still have a lot of practice. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Could happen. Could happen eventually. Oh Last my. year we were working on Baby It's Cold Outside. True. He did good. And I, I made it through like a few lines. Maybe one verse actually. But it just, it's a lot to get through a whole song. I really song. can't stay. This is an easy one. Jobs? Question mark. Uh, I work as a software engineer, and Evelyn takes care of Billy. And I think that my job's easier than hers. 
<laughs> so I always say, you know, I, I just go to work, I get done at you know, four or five, whatever, depending on the day, and that's it. I'm done Saturday, Sunday, just chilling. But with a baby and being a mom, it, uh, it never ends. And she also has to take care of me too. So. <laughs> It's great though. I, I find a lot of joy in just being a mom to Billy. Every once in a while I'll make a YouTube video and sing songs, but my main job is taking care of the little rascal. Huh? The rascal baby. There's a question on here about if having a baby made our marriage stronger. Um, I think that's a cool question yeah. because honestly having a baby is just a unique experience that you know we got to share with each other and we get to share every day and i think that that's definitely made our marriage stronger but one of the other aspects that has made our marriage stronger as well is just working together to take care of billy and to be parents and there's you know there's so many things that we don't know yeah. that we're you know trying to figure that out together and i think that that allows us a lot of opportunities to grow together and to you know learn to love each other more to trust each other more um, so yeah I, I i think having a kid definitely has helped our marriage grow a lot more and be a lot stronger and it's been great so it's true it's like anything that you do in life that's difficult will make your life more worthwhile i think there wouldn't really be a point <laughs> to anything if we never struggled with anything if we never had challenges if everything was just easy and but also like like billy definitely does create a new dynamic of like things that we're learning every day and like it's difficult but it's also i feel like made our marriage stronger because it's something and it's someone, I guess I should say, that we can share joy over to. Like, it's something that we both struggle together with, but it's something we, like, are happy together with, too. If that makes sense. Like, yeah, like, when we both look at her and, you know, she's smiling or yeah. she's finally asleep or whatever it is. Like, if she's been upset, she's finally calm. It's like, yes, we did it. Like, yeah. And like we're happy for her and we're happy for each other. Like it all just like works yeah. out. Yeah, but it's definitely, definitely great. And another cool thing is just occasionally people will stop us in a store or we'll be out and about and they're like, oh man, it's so awesome you have a baby. And like they'll start telling us about one of their kids. And I just, it's awesome being yeah. a parent and we we've said this before like it's kind of like this club that you don't really know exists until you're in it like being a parent is just like you just all of a sudden relate to so many people that you literally never like you just cannot know <laughs> what it's like until you have a baby and then everyone is like isn't it so great like isn't this amazing you you had no idea and now she's finally here and now you know like yeah. it's just really this joy that you can't comprehend like even while i was pregnant we were excited and like we loved her and we were happy but it was just so different when she was born it was like our hearts just grew and it was a whole new world all of a sudden and you appreciate your parents a lot more. Yeah. You realize what sacrifices they, <laughs> they went through to, to raise you. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's another cool cool part about it. Definitely. Well, you done? Wait, we have to do a closing. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Clancy, for, <laughs> for sitting down with me. Clancy doesn't really like to be in my videos, but once a year. <laughs> But. I will say though, she said only 10 minutes, and I've been here now, the timer's at like 19 minutes, so, so thank you. I'm thank going you. above and beyond is all I'm saying. <laughs> thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, he's very... <laughs> Alright, thank you guys, we'll see you later.